So, Yarko Ahola, still loving you. Still loving you. I don't even have to say it. I love this song. If you guys don't know Sonata Arctica, I don't know if this is their song. It's a great song. Legend. Oh, Scorpion. My bad, my bad. Scorpion. Thank you. I just like when Tony Kako does it. is something about the emotion in the vulnerability of his voice oh in the original you mean yeah you're right but i think <laughs> i misinterpreted that message but i think yarko in his singing has something very like vulnerable in it as well uh yarko is another one of those power tenors of which we've listened to several today talked about several today that has his own unique approach with by still being able to manage that more compressed, lower sound. But it's different, right? He, he colors his sound differently than a lot of other people. He colors his sound like an operatic tenor colors the sound. He places it really high, keeping the soft palette raised at all times, but never losing the forward resonance that you get in the sinus cavities. And that's why he has that more... It's like a shimmeriness. It's almost a sweetness in everything he has. But it's... Uh, uh, Ah, ah, ah. Like if you listen to Jose Carreras, right? Ah, ah. If you listen to uh, tenor Jose Carreras, right? One of the one of the famous three tenors has that has that in everything he sings, and he sings it with much more you know flow and vibrato and stuff. But but Yarko has that timbre as well. Yarko has that ah, 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 that that pure nasal cavity resonance that it's hard to maintain when you're also compressing the voice so he doesn't compress as much as someone like tobias or someone like michael kizka or bruce or anything but he has that color in his voice that makes it sound so unique it's what i appreciate him incredibly uniquely because he's he almost bridges that technical gap between classical technique and and like real power metal technique um i love when artists put their own spin on a cover but it's yeah this is you think this is more of an attempt to replicate the original yeah i don't know the original very well so i honestly can't say um and i'm listening to the singer and but sometimes that is that is like an unfortunate part of doing covers when the artist is 
trying to be too similar to the original, which happens. It happens frequently. I do like I, I like Sonata Arc Two. Guilty. That's a good point, Cosmic. You don't hear. I will be there. Yeah, so Yarko's Yarko's uh, performance of this this cover is more like it's like a, uh, he brings this heroic sound to it, which I guess when you look at some of the text, like let me see, still loving you, Scorpions. So if you bring in, if you look at the lyrics, uh, time it needs time to win back your love again. I will be there. I will be there. It's it's a promise song, right? It's a obviously it's it's post heartbreak. It's it's hard. It's pleading, but it's also like a promise, and you can add a heroicness to it, a, a heroism to that idea that I think Yarko has in his sound. Whereas it sounds like now we're gonna have to listen to it eventually. But Klaus in the original, if he brings a more harsh vulnerableness, then it's it's a little more sad. It's more identifiable. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll listen. Yeah, we'll put the, we'll put it. I have it up right now, actually, since I looked up the lyrics, so we can listen to it after. Um, but, and that's okay. I mean, that's, that's, that's artistic interpretation. And Yarko brings this, 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 uh, this stark heroicism, almost stoic heroicism to this idea of, of promising a lost love to regain their, their affection. Right. And it's, it's very powerful in that way, I think. Scorpions. The original was by the Scorpions. Scorpions. Very metered, very Hey, so I, I think one thing that's really important to note about Yarko's technique, which is so awesome, is that the text is always so clear. If we're going to talk about vowel modification, he does modify. He modifies vowels almost to the most clear they can be. Like, he, he, instead of narrowing, he, does, he, he concentrates the vowel sound and just relies on the pure resonance of it. So, going back to the point, I, I mean, I'm... He needs to modify at a certain point, but he he has a higher threshold for modification in his range than most people. He doesn't modify until he gets to the super high stuff. Um, like... It keeps cutting out. <laughs> Maybe I need to stop using this. But when he goes, the yeah, and like the super high stuff he does, that's when he has to modify. But up until there, he has an amazing amount of clarity in that, like... F4 to C5 range, which is really fantastic to hear. And it makes sure that you, you can understand his text better than most singers, honestly, in that range. Like, he's really mastered uh, creating clear diction in that high voice mixed range. It's great. Yeah, that's totally valid. He's a left-handed bass. It's kind of rare. That's funny.
Like, there's never a question on the words he's saying. Except for there. One of those things that that really lovely forward placement has that allows him to do it. What one thing that that awesome like mask space, oh, that awesome coloration of the sound, what it lets him do is also just pull back whenever he wants to. That's like that's like controlling the sound without. It's like controlling the sound without controlling the sound here. You can control the sound through sympathetic resonance through placement without controlling with your voice, which gives you so much more flexibility. And he's the perfect example of it. Check it out. Just this last one. It's supported head voice what he's, is what he's doing. They're all doing supported head voice. His is just more colored and live. Really awesome. Wieder Wieder He even talks that way. He talks like an operatic tenor. Like if you ever hear like Jose Carreras talking, if you ever heard like Nikolai Geda speaking, he's older, way way older. Nikolai Geda speaking, uh, or or like uh, what's another good example? You see Björling. They all I'm gonna turn that way someday. Eco, I'll I'll get it to you. I promise. Ha, <laughs> ha, 